Now, uh, today here, I will take a video to show you how to use uh, the app to unlock the Frigo uh, sharing scooter. First step, you need to find the, the icon of the Frigo uh, tour, it's here. Okay, when you receive the scooter, you, you, you shake the scooter, it will not uh, no sound because it's a sleeping, it's in the sleeping mode. We call it a tr uh, transportation mode. Uh, but when you touch here, you can hear the beeps. Why? Because this is a button. We need to long press the button. Long press the button. Okay, you can hear the long beeps. It means it's already act activated. In this time, the Bluetooth is uh, opened. It, it's ready to connect with the phone. Now I turn on the Frigo app. I can see this one. I can see this uh, app. I need to connect the, the app with the uh, with the IoT. I need to search the scooter. But I know the from the this uh, uh, this IoT is I I mean number. The last three word is uh, three five eight. I need to search this uh, scooter. Okay, I see the 385. Uh, 58 is here. It's here. Now it's on connection. It means connected. Now it's connected already. But uh, it's still, look, it's connected. But it's not unlocked. It's not unlocked. I need to press the button. See? So the scooter is. Uh, connected and unlocked. In this way, the, the motor, okay, the, the motor is the zero start. I can see, okay, the scooter is, is, a, is working, it's moving. I want to turn it on the lights. I press this button to turn it on the lights. See, it's, it's light it's on. I want the, uh, the, in, the cruise mode. Now it's cruise mode. Okay, if I want to, Unlock the the battery. Open the battery. It's here. If I want to uh, lock the battery, it's here. And uh, we also have the cable lock. Cable lock. We can use the here. Unlock. Lock. Everything's here. And uh, we can see the the IoT information. The server's IP and ports and IP is here. I want to show you how to use. Uh, how to use the app to change the uh, the server IP and ports and also the the APN. Press this button. Yes. Now you can see the screen. Okay. From this screen, you can set up the IP and the port. In this section, it shows it shows you the current IoT information. Now the current IP is SQL. The the port is 8080, and the APN is YUGFY, no user and no password. Okay, now I want to this IoT connect with the, with the server, uh, ticket ride, and the IP is ticketrideglobal.com. The, the port is 1223, and I want to write, write this information inside. I need to long press, it shows me this. Okay, you can see DD, DD means two beeps. That means the information already wrote inside. Now I want to set up the APN. APN is, uh, suppose it's global. Uh, so suppose it's a, a telegram, tele, te, telegram. Suppose it's, it's this, and no user, no password. Okay, and not, let me here. You can see APN is very important. If you turn the APN, uh, the uh, the IoT cannot uh, connect with with the server. Confirm. DDD three beeps. It means it's already done. If you want to save, if you want to save the IP and port APN in this uh, uh, in this app, you need to to long press this one. It, it, it shows it's confirmed. Uh, okay, is, is current ready? Correct. Yeah, confirm. It's done. After you set up the APN 
and IP port. Now, when I return to the main page, I can see the IP and the APN already changed here. So, uh, if you can see the echo of the Bluetooth is blinking like this way, it means the IoT and the phone is connected. So, the information here is correct. It can read the information inside the IoT. So, this is good. Okay, now I want to give you some troubleshooting uh, details. Sometimes a new customer said they, they already write the APN port, everything inside the IoT, but it's not saved. The, the problem is, is because they forget or they, they failed to save the settings. Okay, so look, just now it's disconnected. Disconnected means the IoT and the, the phone is disconnected. In this way, even you set up the it, even even you set up the APN port, everything, but it's not saved. If you want to save it, you must press here. Confirm. Look, it here BB two beeps means it's already saved. If if after you press here like this no no sound no beeps it means it's not cry it's not saved you need to try again connect again because the bluetooth sometimes is disconnected dd means it's saved so uh, okay i want to see again every time you 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 put the correct information you you press here it here you, you can you can get the response from the iot in this way it means it's saved. And when you return it to the main page, you can read the IP APN information here. Just make sure this IP is correct and APN is correct. Only in this way, the IoT can connect with the server, can get to the internet. And then uh, uh, the version of software can be upgraded automatically. This is very important. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Email us if you have any question.